I love these. They look so good. They feel good. My butt looks really good. Dream team, stick together and make history. Golden Wonderland. I was at my mom's house for the holidays and she found Nicole's little collar. She never really wore this. She was definitely a collarless girl, but it's missing a few rhinestones. <laughs> but I'm glad I have it. So my dad. I was gonna buy this myself, but he bought me this stationary bike. I almost called it a spin bike. It is not a spin bike. It's a stationary bike. It's a Nautilus U616. It's the older model. The 618 is out now. And it's just a traditional stationary bike, which I prefer. It has a bigger seat. There's less distance from your booty to the bars. So it's better on my hips. So I really like it. I'm excited. It has a fan and you can like hook up your, um, I almost said MP3 player, like an old woman, but your cell phone <laughs> um, to hear out of the speakers. And I'm just excited. I wanted something to like refresh my fitness routine. That's probably my boyfriend because I just tightened the seat by myself and I sent him a picture with the tool because I was very <laughs> proud. This is a recreation of the picture I sent my boyfriend. Yay me, I did it all by myself. <laughs> like that. Um, so yeah, I put it over here so that I can look out the window and I'm excited. My goal is 30 minutes a day, five days a week. It's probably 2021 when you guys are seeing this. It's Christmas Eve when I'm filming this and I record edited the last video today and started this vlog today but I'm in maintenance right now so I'm gonna eat this I went into maintenance the day before Thanksgiving and I'm staying in maintenance until the first of January and I just did that for like comfort during the holidays I lost five extra pounds this year so that during the holidays I had like five pounds to play with without like sacrificing my 50 pounds lost so um, I'm gonna have this for lunch it looked really good deep fried crust so definitely not point friendly I'll probably have half of it look how many calories is in this whole pizza like and it's tiny well, like the box makes it look big, but it's not that big. But anyhow, yes, for a third, not even half, a third is uh, 420. But anyhow, I love pesto. All right, here we go. First Costco slash grocery haul of 2020. We spent a lot at Costco because I was like supplement day. And when I buy supplements, obviously it's going to be more. Vital proteins collagen peptides these are 29.99 and if you know anything about collagen that's a great deal this is the old one that i have this was the same price and this is double the amount of collagen i like to put this in my coffee in the pm i notice it makes my digestion like so much better so so good for digestion i haven't really noticed anything with like the hair and skin benefits but i'm also not watching for that so got this $29 amazing deal keeping on the supplement train I also got some natural calm I have never seen this at Costco this was $23 for 142 servings it's usually 23 $19.99 to 23 for like 20 to 30 servings so very very good deal i want to start taking this after my workouts just to lube up my joints and relax my muscles and all of that good stuff and magnesium is like really good for like neurological function so lots of benefits here if you take it before bed it's good for sleep too but i like to take it during the day three cucumbers the last ones i got I went through them pretty fine within like a week and a half. So I got three more and they were on sale for 4 29 this week. This is like not a good balancing job I'm doing over here. <laughs> Some cumin times. These were $5.49 for, is this five pounds? I don't know. Three pounds of organic bananas. I like to get them when they're pretty green 
and then I eat them until they're yellow. Once they get spotty, they are high FODMAP and I can no longer eat them. So I always try to buy them green so that I can eat them for a longer amount of time. I got a big thing of tomatoes. I love to put these in the air fryer. I think they're so good, just warm. I like to put them in the air fryer and then toss them prior fryer and then toss them with pasta they're also good just like to do zucchini and these and let them get all blistered super good obviously you can eat them raw you can eat them in salads the options are not endless but there are a lot of them what's next i got this kinders or is it kinders i'm sure you guys will correct me buttery steakhouse seasoning and i got it because i thought Oh, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Um, it would be good on shrimp, the butteriness of it. And it's just salt, onion, garlic, butter flavor, spices, red bell pepper, parsley, yeast extract, turmeric, sunflower oil. Um, and yeah, it contains milk in the butter flavor. So I'm a tuna hoarder. I know. Um, I got another thing of the Safe Catch pouches because they never have it in the pouches. And I've been loving making tuna cakes lately. I don't think I've made them in a video yet. I just do tuna, usually one can, sometimes two pouches if I'm doing it for dinner, with an egg, and then season them really well, sometimes some cheese, and then just pack them together very lightly and cook them like you would a crab cake. It's way cheaper than crab cakes. My mom used to do it with canned salmon when I was little. So I've been doing it with tuna and I like it really well too. <laughs> And big mama of grapes. These were super firm. I only like grapes when they're firm. This is a lot of grapes though. I don't know how I'm gonna store these just yet, but I am eating my way through a lot of fruit all the time, not just these days, all the time. So um, yeah, I'll get these washed up. I got a thing of black face mask just for the days. Sometimes I wash them. I forget one. I just like to have one in my glove compartment just in case I need to go somewhere and I don't have a mask or who I'm with forgets their mask. So just to have some backups. I also got a big thing of the Dove moisturizing hand wash. It said that this is new and with, you know, everything that's going on, my hands just get so dry. So any way that I can keep them moist, I'm going to do. I also bought a set of the Lucky Brand pajamas. These are on sale for $14.99, I think. Um, yeah, they were $19.99, and then I think there was like a $5 off or $4.99. I can't remember exactly, but um, they're a 2X, and it's a four-piece. So there's, can you see? There's a short and tank top, and then a top and pant. And as you can see, the size chart, these are different than the Disney ones but the XXL is a 2024, I mean 2022. So it should fit me just fine. And I like this color the best. They had like pink and stuff, but I usually like darker color for jammies just in case you spill stuff on them. And I'll, I'll try those on later. <laughs> now I went to Randall's as well, really for kale, but also for like dressings and stuff. It was time for a re-up on that kind of thing. I got some Buffalo Ranch Quaker Rice Cakes. I used to love the cheddar ones of these. My little sister ate these all the time when she was little. Little sister when she was little. It's correct, but it sounded weird. <laughs> I also got some carrots. Man, carrots are one of those veggies, root veggies, that I forget they exist. Do you ever go through phases like that where you eat like certain veggies and you forget other ones are on the planet? That's what happens to me with carrots. And lately I've really been liking them, especially with like carrots and cucumbers. And I dip them in ranch, which I'll show you now. This is my favorite ranch. It is the Hidden Valley Greek. Um, they also have a Greek dill. I love the Greek dill. They did not have it today. So I just got two of the regular Greek ranches. They're so, so good. I love them more than the Bolt House. And I know Bolt House is good. So way better. It's like thick too, like a very thick dressing. I got these Teton 100% grass-fed beef 
sausages for my boyfriend. He always complains that I don't have any meat to go along with breakfast. He doesn't just like the egg and cheese McMuffin, so, or scrambled eggs or whatever. So I got some sausage to go with his breakfast. And I also got some of the Fiber One lemon bars. These are not like the best thing ever, but they're, they're tasty enough. Kale, two bundles of organic kale. I'm so excited to have that. <laughs> I haven't had kale in a while. Um, two things of Body Armor Light. Someone told me that this was their favorite flavor. So I picked it up. Randall's had this and like one other flavor that I was not interested in, obviously, because I didn't <laughs> buy it. But I got two of those. I really like the Body Armors. They're one point, And it's just nice to like taste something else sometimes besides water. And then I got two creamers. I got the Fair Life Caramel and the Natural Bliss Sweet Cream. And then I just use like a tablespoon of this and then almond milk for the rest of my iced coffee. I did enjoy these last time. Oh, it says enjoy on it. No, yeah, eat, nourish, enjoy. So I got two of these. I really liked them last time, so I got two more. A thing of cultured butter. I just started getting regular butter because so many of the plant-based butters that I was getting have soybean oil, and I am trying to reduce my consumption of soybean oil. Um, even though I'm not technically allergic to soybean oil or soy lecithin because the protein's removed, I'm just trying to limit it when I can. And I use so little butter that it's it's fine. Um, I also just got a regular 0% non-fat yogurt for if I want to make some dough at some point. This one doesn't expire until February, so I just thought it would be nice to have in the fridge. Good culture cottage cheese it's my favorite one i get the full fat one it's way better than the low fat one in my opinion and then i got reduced fat crescent rolls i want to make some like pizza pockets i saw it on instagram someone had made like a pizza pocket so i picked these up but i didn't get any other pizza -y things oh i have some cheese in there and i have pasta sauce and i think i have some red bell peppers in there so oh and I have black olives I have everything I need for a pizza pocket um dove um some dove hand sanitizer just the regular one some Borden fat free slices they were out of Velveeta so I just picked these up they're 30 calories so I'm hoping that they're one point who knows but that is all that is my haul let me put this stuff away now I've got my coffee going this morning and I'm bottom watering this plant oh she she drank it all I'll give you some more girl um so this is just almond milk one scoop of collagen powder and some caramel syrup and I'm gonna pop my espresso <laughs> espresso in now Just pour my shots and they didn't float the way I thought they would today but I'm going to add some caramel drizzle to this as well this is the espresso I used by the way I think it's pretty good and then my Smucker's Sunday syrup sugar-free I get this from Nutrition. I'll leave a link down below if you don't know about them I also get my pasta there and then I'm just gonna do I'm prepping some veggies for my breakfast this morning so I just have some yellow squash and some peppers I also have some tomatoes in the air fryer I'm gonna saute these up and then I will show you guys how I make my eggs finally so I have my veggies in here I'm gonna use some of this buttery steakhouse seasoning on these and then pop a lid so that they can steam up and they'll still get caramelized on the bottom okay for eggs I just do some spray oil on the bottom I have this on medium and then I'm gonna add in two eggs that I've cracked and then I just let them cook I like to add a little bit of pepper to my eggs you can add salt if you want to I don't typically add salt um, because my veggies they have salt on them and I like to kind of mix things together and I don't want it to be too salty so I just let it keep cooking until all of the edges are cooked until we start to get this part is less raw once this part is less raw then we'll move on to the next step I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of water that's all and then I'm going to take a lid and cover 
Now, you only need to use water if you're using a tiny amount of oil. If you use more oil, like two teaspoons of oil, you don't need to add water, you can just cover it. It'll create its own steam. But since I use less oil, I added my water, and then I'm gonna cover it until everything looks white, like over the top. You see what I mean? <laughs> it gets like white on the top. So now all of this is cooked, but these are still super runny. So I take them off the heat and put them on my plate. And there we go. I have my squash and peppers, my eggs that are sunny side up slash fried. You can tell the edges got a little bit fried. And my blistered tomatoes that I put in the air fryer. I know this is looking a little lack saucy. So I'm going to use the Cholula, the Chipotle Cholula. I love this stuff. It's so good i used to love the chipotle tabasco because that's what they had at like the oh my gosh it's not focusing <laughs> at the chipotle restaurants but the chipotle cholula is way better so that's what i'm gonna have for breakfast this is zero points i usually count it as one point because i use some oil on each component and i think that's about a teaspoon of oil between everything so one point breakfast three point coffee so four points starting off the day yum you can make a piece of toast i might make a piece of toast i have some of that one point bread so i might just make one piece of toast to like dip into my yolks i have ridden my bike three days in a row so that's like every day since i had it super proud my hip was hurting a little bit yesterday so today i'm going to do a dance cardio instead and then tomorrow 5 a.m i'll be Back on the saddle. I just emptied my big 24-7 moisture. Oh, it's the best moisturizer ever, and I'm just opening a smaller size of it now. I do plan on ordering one more of these big ones before they go out of stock because they are limited edition, but same moisturizer, different size. It's so good from Tula, of course. Oh shoot, the jammies. Jammies are in the washer. I will try those on in a second, but I got these two outfits. One is from Beyond Yoga, and it's like a sparkly star set. And then I got a pair of the Wonder Train tights from Lululemon. And I'll tell you a really good saving trick for Lululemon when I try these on. It's super gloomy outside. The lighting is bad. These look way more like burgundy. They're definitely more of a brown color. <laughs> but, ugh. Lululemon does a fantastic job on this specific tight. This is the Wonder Train tight. It has the little customizable thing, but I did size down to an 18 this time, and I'm glad I did because it's the perfect amount of compression. I'm wearing it with the, um, who is this? Girlfriend Collective top. Oh, there, mm, lighting, whatever. Um, they fit so, so well. They hit at the perfect length on my legs and they just feel fantastic. And they were $69. Lululemon has a section of their website called We Made Too Much, and it's all of the seasonal colors. So these were $69 instead of $98, which is a very, very good deal for Lululemon. And um, they have the line tights. I don't love the line as much. They do do the pilling in the thigh. I haven't had any trouble with the Wonder Train doing pilling in the thigh, but I love these. They look so good. They feel good. My butt looks really good. Number two, the Beyond Yoga. Um, let's see if you can get, all right, there we go. We see the stars, right? <laughs> they come right above the ankle. This is their midi length, and this is not technically a sports bra. It's a top, but it has like a shelf bra built in. I got this in a 2X, and the bottom's in the 2X as well. I believe is a 2022 so that's what it looks like it's super cute I love the bit of sparkle I think it fits really really well and yeah totally love it I kind of wish these had pockets but it's fine I think this is adorable I figured I would also show you the tuna cake since I'm having these for dinner um, since I mentioned them during the haul so it's just one can of tuna that I've drained I added some chives and some dill that i had in the freezer from a produce box a little bit of garlic and then your seasoning of choice and now i'm gonna crack an egg into here the egg is in now mix 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 but try not to break up the tuna too much like mine's kind of like a thicker tuna like not as light 
is some of like the chunk light stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together. I don't use breadcrumbs because I want them to stay zero points. If you want them to stay together a little better, you can use breadcrumbs, but I just, I choose not to. This is what it looks like, and then I form it into two patties. I get two patties out of one can of tuna. I added a tiny bit of butter under each one. Since these are zero points, I use real butter, so it gets really crispy and yummy on the bottom. I have this on like medium low, um, just for reference, that's what medium low is for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover them because we do want the egg to cook all the way. So you cook these pretty low and slow instead of just frying them up on both sides. So I usually do about five to six minutes on each side. Um, so five, six minutes flip, five, six minutes done in about 10 minutes. And there you have it, two little tuna cakes and then I just have some kale with some nutritional yeast and I made a quick little aioli with some smoked paprika to go with them. Spoiler alert for next week's video. Did I get an espresso? Did I not? I guess you won't know until next week. <laughs> I got some pods. And then I'll show you what machine I got next week. Dream team, stick